picked as number nine and playing left field, Jacob Williams. Pitching for the Kernersville team is number 18, Drew Wilson. So Drew Wilson will be on the mound for Kernersville. And for the Lincoln County Cardinals, post 455 under the direction of Bruce Bullock. Little shake up in the lineup, David. Yes, it is. From, I saw that uh, from this morning and from what we've seen in uh, postseason play. But leading off will be number 12, Randall Ortiz, and playing second base. Batting second is the center fielder, number two, Clay Hodges. Batting third and playing shortstop is number nine, Danny Sullivan. Batting cleanup and playing left field is number 23, Jacob Hoover. Batting fifth and playing third base is number 24, Bradley Holman. Playing right field and batting sixth is number 16, Brian Seymour. Playing first base and batting seventh is number 15, Nick Savoy. The DH is number one, Justin Norton. And catching this game will be number eight, Zach Reeder, and batting ninth. On the hill for Lincoln County will be number 10, David Scoggins. Scoggins will get the start this afternoon in elimination game for both these teams. We'll send it back to the studio, Steve. We got the code of sportsmanship and the national anthem, then the first pitch. We'll be back here with live baseball after this three-minute timeout. When do you want the job done? Right now, of course. That's why we recommend you call Right Now Contractors for roofing, siding, windows, and more. Right Now Contractors features maintenance-free gutters. Ask about their walk-in spa tubs, and a lifetime warranty on the roofing is available. Just call 704-572-0375 for Right Now Contractors or visit the website at rightnowcontractors.com. When you want it done now, call Right Now Contractors. Good luck, Lincoln County Cardinals, in the American Legion State Tournament from American Marine in Denver. Call Randy or Todd at American Marine for the largest selection of new and used boats in the area. We also buy, sell, and trade. And don't forget our full service department, too. American Marine is located at 6118 Highway 16 South in Denver. Open Monday through Friday 9 to 6, Saturday 9 to 3. Call 704-483-8144 or visit our website at amlboats.com. Good luck, Post 455, Lincoln County Cardinals American Legion Baseball. Shop for your home in your home with Budget Blinds of Lincoln. Budget Blinds services the Lincoln, Cherryville, and Shelby area with window coverings for any budget. And mention this radio ad for $20 off per window. Available by appointment only. Call 24 hours a day, 704-483-9580 in Denver, North Carolina for a free in-home consultation. Or visit our showroom at 1901 North Highway 16 in Denver in the Westport Plaza. Budget Blinds does commercial and residential. Sales, service, installation, and repairs all have Handled by our office. Visit our website at budgetblinds.com slash Lincolnton or on Facebook at facebook.com slash BB Lincolnton. Gail Huss, broker realtor with Lake Norman Realty in Denver, is proud to help sponsor the Lincoln County Cardinals in the state baseball tournament. Gail Huss specializes in the Lake Norman area, representing buyers and sellers in Lincoln, Catawba, Iredell, Gaston, and Mecklenburg counties. Gail is a five-time recipient of Charlotte's Best Real Estate Agent Award based on customer satisfaction. Let Gail work for you if it's residential or commercial real estate you need. Call 704-473-6819 or go online at www.gailhuss.com. Office located on Highway 16 in Denver, North Carolina. Good luck, Lincoln County Cardinals. Okay, folks, here's a question for you. Now, listen, if you could pay less for your office products and have them delivered to your door, if that money stayed right here in your community, and if you could choose from a selection of office supplies made right here in America, and if you'd like to truly say that you buy local, wouldn't you make the switch to King's Office Supply? Located at 227 East Main Street, King's Office Supply has been serving Lincoln County and surrounding areas for over 60 years. Come on now, make the switch and feel good about supporting your local small business. Do you own a farm? If so, LMI Agency in downtown Lincoln now offers farm owner coverage through Ace Agribusiness. Ace specializes in farm and ranch insurance, including multiple peril, crop hail, specialty crop lines, farm property and casualty, commercial auto, and farm umbrella excess. 
Give one of their farm insurance agents a call today at 704-735-2604 for a free quote on a great farm insurance product. LMI Agency, 228 East Main Street in downtown Lincoln. And don't forget, they also offer home and automobile insurance. Again, call 704-735-2604. Exciting pitch twice. I know he had a win against the Gaston Braves at East Gaston, first game we did of the year. So the young man has been in some summer school, and now he's out, and he's supposedly supposed to be with the team through uh, the duration now. So yes, I think uh, so. I think he's like, like you said, finished with that summer school. So right. He gets a couple weeks off now before he has to report to school. I guess toward the. Uh, Late August, I would guess. Well, middle August. I think middle everything's August. about middle August now for the colleges. So, anyway, he's on the hill today, and he's going to try to uh, keep Lincoln County in this tournament. 86 degrees and clear here at game time well, in Wilson, tough. North Carolina. Very humid, though. Yeah. So, a thunderstorm is not to be ruled out by any means. Very humid conditions after the rain fell a little earlier. First pitch is at 522. And it is a ball outside as we are underway. Robbie Harrison leading all four Kernersville, followed by Evan Rogers and Shane Billings. Again, up and away. 2-0. and Of course, Lincoln Kinda. County had real trouble throwing strikes in game one. You don't want to see that happen again. Stoggins' next pitch is away, too, so it's 3-0. Three balls, no strikes, but starting much the same way, Rick, as yes. we started the earlier game for Lincoln County, and this was upstairs, ball four. Lincoln County cannot afford to get off to that kind of start. No, they can't. As they did, three walks earlier this morning, the first three batters of the game walked, and they all three came in to score for Wilmington against this team, and now the game starts here with a ball, four straight balls by Scoggins. Let's just hope he can get his control here soon. He's probably a little nervous and hyped right now. First time on the mound in a while. Here's the pitch, and that is in there for a strike. First strike thrown by Scoggins. Is that Dave Brown behind the plate? Kind of reminds me of his uh, the way his motions are when a strike is called. Lewis Carpenter tuned in listening today back in Lincoln. Wants, uh, Know about Shelby. Shelby fell uh, 10 to 6. 10 to 6, yes. A four run Randolph County eighth, eighth inning. inning. Four mm-hmm. run bottom of the eighth, broke a six all tie, and Shelby falls 10 to 6. Pitch to the plate, shot down the third baseline. Bradley what Hallman. a play by Hallman. Goes to first with it. Bang, bang. What a play. That Saved was a, a great double. Play. Yeah. Bradley Hallman, 5 to 3 put out. Looked at second even. Thought about going to second right. before he gets up and throws to first. Well, the ball was hit so hard, he actually had to uh, go to his knees to stop it. So he had to get himself up, and he did not plenty of time to get that out at first. And that's going to bring up Shane Billings, number 10, the third batter in this lineup. On deck, Zach Scudder. Yeah, on the, on the uh, throw out, Harrison moves down to second. He's in scoring position with one out. Billings, the shortstop. Right-handed hitter against the left-handed Scoggins. And the pitch is upstairs, the ball one. Both teams' fans into this They're game. They're into this like game. It. And yep. uh, Kernersville's got loud. some uh, fans with posters and things that they're shaking and holding up. So, uh, yeah, it's a uh, good atmosphere. First pitch, a ball. Now Scoggins fakes a throw down to second but does not throw. One ball, no strikes, runner at second base. One out in the inning. We are just underway. Elimination game. And here's the pitch. And again, upstairs, 2-0. and Elimination game between these two teams. Winner gets to play tomorrow. Time to be determined. Yes. All uh-huh. we do know is Lincoln One County could not play Wilmington tomorrow. That's right. the only thing we do know. Yeah, we'll Probably sh- glad of that. Yes, I would say so. And... Loser will be eliminated. Here's the pitch, and that misses. That's in there on the corner for a strike. And, boy, the Kerners will fail. They did didn't not like care that, for that all, pitch, they? It's one of those backdoor breaking balls. I broke around the plate, looked like, but nonetheless, the count goes to two and one on Shane Billings. 
And pitch swung on, fouled off out of play, right side. The count now two balls, two strikes on Billings. Look a lot like Mint Hills uniforms with the blue and gray camouflage, camouflage jerseys. Look, but you the can't biggest see the difference numbers. is the numbers are white yes. on these jerseys. So now the 2 2 pitch on the way is hit out into left field. That's a base hit. Now the runner at second had to wait, make sure it cleared the shortstop, so he'll only get to third base. Actually, but now Kernersville with their first hit mm -hmm. of the day. Actually took a step back towards second, so. Yep. We have got to shift right a little bit. Okay. Can't see the scoreboard at all. <laughs> I got to see the balls and the strikes. We'll just tell there we go. That's Kevin, good. He's That's got good. to go. <laughs> <laughs> now we good. I couldn't see the balls and strikes. <laughs> they were up there, though. <laughs> I can see them like now. The complaining I can see them now, and they're both on zeros. Two runners aboard, first and third for Kernersville here in the top half of inning number one. Harrison's at third. Billings with the singles at first, and now Zach Scudder. Scudder, yes, the cleanup hitter, number 22. Big young fella here in this cleanup spot. Throw to first instead. Boy, that throw over there, high. Runner yeah, back in there. Nick Savoy playing first today, this afternoon, rather. Jamison Nagel awaits on deck. There is one out. Now the pitch to the plate, up mm -hmm. and away, a ball. Scoggins not close with that one. Top half inning number one just underway. No score, but Kernersville threatening with the runners at the corners. And now the pitch to the plates, foul back into the net. Lincoln County, the home team. Today, this afternoon, this is the first time they've been the home team. Well, if anybody's won in the first game is determined by whether you're a one or two yes, in your and area. And, and everything, everything after that is a coin, coin, coin flip. Right. Here's the pitch, breaking That's pitch that is in pitch. there. And the count one and one now to Scudder. Actually, one and two. The first pitch. There it goes. Just fouled off. Yep. Yep. One and two. One and two. A little slower on the scoreboard for me now. A while ago, they had him up there before the pitch got to the plate. <laughs> <laughs> Throw to first, and the runner's back. Tough loss for the Shelby team earlier today, post 82. They've given up the four runs in the bottom of the eighth inning. But what a season they had, Rick. 35 wins. Nothing to hang their head about at all. 35 wins. Wow, that's a Here's lot of pitch. baseball. Swing and a miss. The runner will go to second because the pitch in the dirt. The batter is retired for the second out. That's most important for that Lincoln is, County. Yes, that's the most important thing. So now two down with the runners we, on second. We also found out Shelby's team will only lose three players. One of those Dustin Green. who pitched well today for Shelby. That's the only three losses. That's pretty good players, but still, when you only lose three off of a team that won the area. Yeah, they'll, they'll definitely be uh, a tough team. Should look team. forward to next year. Yes, man. J Jamison Nagel now about him. Fouls the first pitch off. This Kernersville team who lost their first game to yesterday Shelby. to Shelby mm -hmm. is also on at the 30-win plateau, 30-9 and nine I saw on the season. That's a very impressive record. No balls, one strike to Nagel. And the pitch from Scoggins up and away. Evens it up one and one. Runners at second and third for Kernersville. Scoggins trying to get out of a first inning jam, a walk and a single. And a wild pitch have led to the second and third. And now the pitch swung on, lifted into center field. Back goes it's gonna get over. Hodges, Hodges, yeah, he's head. not going to get it. That thing's going all the way to the wall. Hodges retreats it quick, gets it back in, but it is a two-run double for Jamison Nagel. Jamison Nagel, he really smacked that ball. 405 feet dead center, and it hit on one bounce. So, yeah, he probably uh, hit it about three, about 395, yep, didn't he? Sure did, so a big two RBI double. Yeah. In the score comes Harrison, followed by Billings, and it's 2 nothing now. Kernersville breaks out on top here in the early going. So Lincoln County has found themselves behind the entire first game and now behind already here in their second game of the day. They fell behind 3 to nothing in the first inning this morning and now 2 nothing here. That and brings, oh, excuse me, Bump Martin. Bump now Martin. The 
Still with a runner in scoring position. And the pitch from Scoggins is up and in a ball. Clump Martin, the third baseman at the plate. Harrison Hollis is on deck, but they are two outs. Lincoln County desperately needs to get out of this fight, giving him more runs. Yeah, you're right. This pitch upstairs again, 2-0. and oh, The count to Martin. Two-run double for Jamison Nagel. That's where we are right now, 2 nothing. Rant, excuse me, Kernersville. I've watched so much Randolph, I wanted to say yeah, Randolph. Randolph, mm-hmm. Here's the pitch up and outside. Three, and Three balls, no strikes to Martin. I've caught myself saying Randolph, Rolliford, <laughs> uh, Rowan. But, yeah, this is Kernersville today. All from that area as well. Mm-hmm. All those teams from area three. Here's the pitch upstairs, ball four. So Martin walks on four pitches. And that's the second walk now given up by Scoggins. He'll head down to first base. First and second, Nagel at second, Martin at first for Harrison Hollis, the right fielder. And not before Coach Bullock will make a quick trip to the mound while Coach Bullock goes to the mound. Vesuvius Vineyards and Iron Station is proud to help sponsor the Lincoln County Cardinals American Legion State Tournament Games. Vesuvius Vineyards provide a very private surrounding on 350 acres with sprawling vineyards behind the oldest standing house in Lincoln County built in 1792. We're a perfect location for weddings, reunions, anniversaries and birthday parties, corporate events, Christmas parties and more. Call for more details at 704-996-1566 or 843-422-4079. Online at VesuviusVineyards.com or email us at info at VesuviusVineyards.com. Located at 6173 Vesuvius Furnace Road in Iron Station, North Carolina, 28080. Scoggins. Hollis, the right fielder, number seven, batter to come to the plate here. First pitch inside for a ball. So it's five straight pitches yes. that have been balls thrown by Scoggins here today or in this series right here. One ball, no strike. Scoggins looks at the runners, the pitch to the plate to Hollis, curveball in there for a strike. That's a good breaking ball right there, catching that outside corner. He needs to be able to get that pitch over the plate, Rick. And I think he'll be okay when, when he wants to get it over the plate. Not every time. Here's the 1-1 one, one outside. That one doesn't come around. 2-1 to Hollis. Two runs across already for Kernersville. Harrison and Billings are walking a single. They scored on the two-run double from Nagel. Now still Kernersville with runners at first and second. And the pitch to Hollis is up and away. Ball three. Three and one. Wow. It's got to be frustrating as a coach to see this happen to you two days, two games in a row. 3-1 pitch on the way. Upstairs, Rick. Ball four. Third walk of the inning. Down to second goes Martin. Over to third goes Nagel. The bases are loaded with two outs in Lincoln County. Again, Rick, on the verge of finding themselves having to climb out of a deep hole if they can't get an out here. Well, they desperately need an out here. Trailing two to nothing already. A base hit could score two more, so Lincoln County has its work cut out for them to get this last out. And that's a good breaking pitch in there for a strike to Mitchell Edwards. He is the DH for Kernersville today. No balls, one strike. Scoggins needs to get ahead of those hitters early in the count. The 0-1, a curveball, and that misses down low. Umpire here has a delayed call, so you kind of have to wait to make sure he's not going to call it a strike. Two and the count. Excuse me, one and one the count. Pitch on the way from Scoggins, and that's in there for a strike. No, it's not. No, it's not. He's calling it high. Wow. Actually, they want to check. They want to check on the swing, but on the uh, swing, but he did not. I don't think. Yes, oh, he did. did. Okay, we'll take that one. It took him a while to get somebody to answer yeah, him, but sure uh, they got the swing. I thought it was just a strike. 
No. Nah, I don't. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I know his he didn't call it, kind of look but like I thought it was. I just, I just thought it was a strike. It looked over the plate from here. Now the one-two breaking yeah, pitch. I still and that, got him. Well, my goodness. I saw. I am puzzled at what the umpire's looking for. That's two in a row that weren't called strikes. That looked to be right over the middle part of the plate. Scoggins was halfway off. The Scoggins field on was that yeah one. trotting to the dugout. So two 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 outs. Bases are loaded. I just like to know where he's calling the pitch. This one in the dirt. That one is in the dirt. Yep, three and two now. Nowhere to put him. Bases loaded. Nagel at third. Martin at second. Hollis at first. Scoggins in a jam here. Two runs across already, and a payoff pitch coming to Hollis, which will put all the runners in motion. And the pitch outside, ball four. I kept saying Hollis, but it's Edwards. Edwards draws the RBI walk. And he'll take it at this point in time in the game, I'm sure. Well, Rick, I thought that young man struck out. I, yeah, I thought he struck out at least once. Yep. And they're going to make a change. He's already coming out. Yep, Coach Bullock cannot wait any longer. He's going to have to go to the bullpen. Mention this radio ad and take $1 off each bag of Neutrina feed. You purchase from St. Ace Hardware in Lincoln. All for good for Neutrina River Run Dog Food. Starting at $17.99 for a 50-pound bag. Also good on Neutrina Country Feeds Layer Pellets. Starting at $13.49 for a 50-pound bag. And Neutrina Wrangler Horse Feed in Pellet or Sweet. Starting at $8.99 for a 50-pound bag. And mention this radio ad and get $1 off each bag you purchase. St. Ace Hardware, Highway 150 West, 27 Intersection in Lincoln. Trailers for everything, and we mean it, at TRT Trailer Sales in Lincoln, 3302 Gastonia Highway. Trailers for hauling livestock, motorcycles, and cars. You'll find dump trailers, utility, and landscaping trailers. You'll find racing trailers with finished interiors, plus the tag-along and gooseneck trailers, insulated trailers with tack compartments and 110 packages. Call toll-free at 1-877-279-7465 or visit the website, trtrailersales.com. $500 off, $500 off any big dog X-Series more from West End Sales in Vail. Bring in the ad from this week's What's Up Shopper and take $500 off any Big Dog X-Series mower. These mowers feature a big 26-horsepower Kawasaki engine and a big 52-inch cut, but that's not all. Bring in the same ad in the What's Up Shopper and take $50 off any Cub Cadet Tiller in stock or any Land Pride mower in stock. Only from Weston Sales, 110 Highway 18 North at the Highway 27 intersection in Vail. The old saying, you can't keep a... Three to nothing. And not out of the first inning yet. As uh, tight, tight strike zone has really come into play in this baseball game. And, I, I, you know, I just got a feeling he's not going to stay that tight the entire game, Rick. And it's just kind of a, I don't know, kind of feel for Coach Bullock today. Yep. And, and the, really. Only two-thirds of in by David uh, Scoggins. One strike out but four walks, and he finds himself in the hole three to nothing. I don't usually say much about the umpires in the strike zones, but these are pitches that we've seen called strikes all year. Yeah. For some reason today, this afternoon game, a very tight strike zone. His first pitch here misses out, excuse me, inside to the number nine hitter, Williams. Scoggins, the pitcher, David Scoggins, has went to first. I guess Savoy has left the game. Well, the pitch up is inside again. Now that's in there for a strike. Now you tell me how that's a strike, and the pitch is earlier not a strike. I'm puzzled. I'm confused. The fans are confused. Here's the pitch up and in. Again, bases are loaded. Kernsville up three to nothing. Darren Salter has already come in in relief. And the pitch to the plate swung on Big Hopper down the first base side foul. So now the count two and two. Jacob Williams. Two's on the board again. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. There was a time I thought I knew what a strike was in baseball. <laughs> Times have changed. 
Well, he's trying to get out of the jam either way. Absolutely. Is Salter here. 2-2 two -two pitch on the way, and that is down low, and the count goes full again. Three and two now to Jacob Williams, the number nine hitter, the left fielder. We're in the first. Kernersville with three runs on just two hits. Mm -hmm. And now the runners get a jump and the pitch to the plate. Upstairs, ball four. We've got our fifth walk of the inning. Another RBI walk. Everybody advancing. This is so much like the game earlier today, Rick, where Hayden Deal thought he had a strikeout that would have got him out of a jam early maybe. And this, this is so similar to it because we thought that Hollis should have struck out two batters ago. Absolutely. Well, we're back at the top. Robbie Harrison walked and scored. First pitch outside corner for a strike. So the 10th batter to come to the plate. Now the pitch. Swung on, ripped into center field. Hodges got to play it on a hop. He gets there quick. They're going to send the runner around third. The flow is cut. The play's at third, and they got him at third. And the run, run let's see, count, I think it will count. Here. I think he crossed before the put out. And they do count it. So it's a two-run single for Harrison. He knocks in, let's get this straight, he knocks in Hollis and Edwards. It is now five, or excuse me, six to nothing. Is that right? Six nothing, six runs on three hits. The, the out finally recorded is Jacob Williams at third base as it's cut by the first baseman and is gunned down at third. The uh, eight to three to five put out finally ends the inning here in inning number one. Six runs in the inning. There were three hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We go to the bottom of the first. Your score on the TRT Trailer Sales scoreboard, Kernersville 6, Lincoln County coming to bat. Good Man Down now applies to Brookwood Cafe and Catering. The new Brookwood Cafe and Catering is located on Providence Mill Road in Maiden, featuring the same great food and service you remember. The world's greatest fried chicken and world-famous penny browns once again satisfy your appetite. Brookwood Cafe and Catering is serving the same great breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Brookwood Cafe and Catering on Providence Mill Road in Maiden. Stop by before the game or call ahead for your tailgate items, 828-428-8944. It's time to jump in. Jump in and cool off with a dip in your backyard pool. To help keep your pool sparkling clean all summer long, see Carolina Hardware Garden Pool Center on the Reedsville Road in Lincoln. They carry a full line of BioGuard products. Plus, they'll analyze your water to make sure you get the right blend of BioGuard. And keep your yard looking great with a new Huxvarna Zero Turn, Tractor, Push Mower, or Trimmer. Carolina Hardware and Garden Center on the Reedsville Road in Lincoln. Ortiz will lead things off here for Lincoln County. Bottom half of inning number one. Coach Bullock's changed the lineup up a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Flip-flop Hodges and Ortiz for this game. But, boy, they got to get the bats going in a hurry. And here's a soft fly ball out in the left field that will be caught. Williams out there in the left field makes the catch. So, Ortiz, one up, one down. Give you the uh, defensive battery for this Kernersville team. Drew Wilson on the mound, Nagel behind the plate, Scudder at first, Rogers at second, Martin is your third baseman, Billings is the shortstop, Williams, Harrison, and Hollis are the outfielders left to right. This pitcher, Drew Wilson, a lefty. Yep, and the pitch here to Hodges is swung on, fouled off at the plate. Nothing and one the count. Six, nothing. Boy, Lincoln County mm -hmm. has now... 
allowed nine runs in two games today in the first inning. First inning alone, yes. And just about all because of the walk, Rick. Yep. In the first game, it was three walks that all scored. In this game, it was one, two, three, four of the six runs were walked on. Here's a pitch fouled out of play. Clay Hodges going to CVCC. Talked to the young man a little bit before the game. Sporting that uh, East Lincoln State Championship football ring. Mm -hmm. Got a couple pictures of that. One-two pitch on the way to Hodges. Mm, just missed. Yeah, I think Hodges thought he was out. Now, that kind of tells you what kind of umpire we're seeing. We're seeing Hodges is ready to toss the bat back <laughs> and go back. He thought he was out. Umpire doesn't call it a strike. Now the pitch, and that one nearly hits him inside. I figured that was going to be called strike three. Nonetheless, it fills it up, three and two. Lincoln County in desperate need already of base runners and some runs. And that one is outside. Yep, down and away, ball four. So Hodges does draw the base on ball. Hodges feels like he got a gift, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. But I think there were a couple gifts in the top half of the inning, too. So Hodges is at first base, one out for Danny Sullivan. Yes, Danny Sullivan, the shortstop again today. Did not have a hit this morning, but uh, still, I'd say it's about an average. Probably over 500. Quick throw to first base. Gets Hodges back in. Self and Sullivan out on, excuse me, at the plate. Jacob Hoover on deck. And the first pitch to Sullivan is in the dirt. So the count goes 1-0. One ball, no strike. Sullivan. Cooled off a little bit since he got here to the state tournament. Well, he was on fire day one. Yeah. Next pitch in there, four strikes. So Cooled off this up. morning, I yeah. guess I should mm -hmm. say. Went uh, went hitless earlier today, 0 for 3. But uh, as you said, Rick, 3 for 5 in the first game. Now the one ball, one strike. They got the runner. Hodges picked off. Here's the throw to first. They throw down to second, and they got him. One to three to six. Boy, when you're down... Six to nothing. That's the last thing you want to see happening. Yes, absolutely. So the pickoff erases Hodges two down, and now Sullivan up there with a one and one count. Good move over to first base by this left handed pitcher. For a second there, I thought Hodges may have enough speed to beat it out. But, mm, uh, good, good throw, though. Good yeah, throw right good on throw. the bag. Now we're going to have to have some maintenance work done around that second base area with a count now one and one, but with two outs and no one on. I'll go ahead and run through uh, East Lincoln's battery again. Uh, Danny Selvin's at the plate. Jacob Hoover's on deck. Bradley Holman, Brian Seymour, Nick Savoy, Justin Norton, and Zach Reeder. You don't have to get those bats out in a hurry, trailing six nothing. Here's the sad part: Kernersville six runs on only three hits yeah. in that first inning. If you just tuned in, it was a much the same as the morning game for Lincoln County. The walks have just destroyed this team today. One, two, three, four, five. It was in this first inning. Five walks in the first inning. Four of those came in to score. Yeah, and you just don't see that in Malaysian baseball. Mm -mm. And now the pitch down and away, a ball. Two outs in the inning, nobody aboard after the pickoff. And the 2-1 to Sullivan, a high hopper over the mound. Shortstop fills it behind the bag, throws to first. That'll do it. Billings, great throw from short. Nothing doing, no runs, no hits, no errors, a walk, a pickoff, nobody left. We go to the second inning, your TRT trailer sales scoreboard, Kernersville 6, Lincoln County, nothing.
The Big Splash Sales Event is underway at Arrow Lane Motorsports in Lincoln. It's time to come in and cool off this summer with a new Kawasaki Jet Ski Watercraft. Brand new model, start at only $89.99. Come on in for all the details. You'll find one that's just right for you for your summertime fun. Ask about great rebates and low, low financing now available. Plus, they have golf carts too. Don't miss the Big Splash Sales Event going on now at Al Lane Motorsports, Highway 27 east of Shelby at the Highway 73 intersection. Your reasons for a personal loan are as individual as you are. As a community bank, we understand that. We're the bank with the focus on service. So we'll help you design a loan plan that fits your needs and your budget. Talk to us about your personal reasons for a personal loan. First National Bank, hometown banking since 1874. Member FDIC. With Kernersville coming about, leading already six to nothing over Lincoln County. Six big runs in that first inning. And yeah, Rick, um, we, you know, over and over I dwell on it, but only three hits and the three walks hits, have just yes. killed this Lincoln mm -hmm. County team today. And it's, you know, the starting pitching throughout the season has been phenomenal, but uh, has struggled today to get the ball over the plate. So, so we're going to see. Leading off will be the number two hitter, Evan Rogers, followed by Shane Billings and Zach Scudder. Do up here in the second inning. Rogers grounded out, actually hit a shot down to uh, Bradley Holman at third base. Holman was able to uh, throw him out. First pitch to him has popped up high on the infield. Should be playable Holman or is it Sullivan? Sullivan's going to call it. him off and we'll take it. So one up, one down here in the Kernersville second inning. Rogers pops up to short. And it'll bring up the shortstop for Kernersville, Shane Billings. That's good communication by Holman and Sullivan to uh, – Sullivan with the better angle. Yes, absolutely, and he called him off. And Holman got out of the way, and it was a routine play. Shane Billings, single, and scored a run. Attempts to bunt, pulls back, takes a strike. Got a single out into the left field his first time up. Nothing in one. The count, and the pitch swung on, foul back into the net. No balls, two strikes to Billings. Nobody aboard, second inning. Now the pitch from Salter misses down and away. One and two. Kerners were already up six nothing here in inning number two. And now the one two on the way and that hit him. It did hit him yep. on the uh, side of the helmet. But yeah, he's the helmet or the hand. He might have got his hand up there in the way to protect himself, too. Close to the face. Yes, it was. Hit but by pitch. Nonetheless, Billings heads down to first base after being hit by the pitch. Runner on, one out for Zach Scudder, the first baseman. Scudder struck out victim his first time up. He is the cleanup hitter on this team. Just hearing from the radio guy beside of us, he's only had one hit in the tournament. So. Wow. But he's in that cleanup spot for a reason, I'm sure. First pitch to him has popped, popped up. up high infield again. Looks like it's going to be Ortiz at second. Now Ortiz will make the play for out number two. So two down now. Billings still at first base, and it'll bring up Jamison Nagel. Nagel had a big two RBI double his first time up. So this young man definitely a – Good hitter in this lineup. He is, excuse me, he is that. Two run double over the head of Hodges. If you hit over the head of Hodges, you usually have to hit it over the park, out of the yeah, park. Out of the park. This is a huge park. Hodges gave it a run but could not get there. Throw to first and the runner's back. Now the stretch, instead a uh, steps off the rubber, fake throw to first, doesn't throw it. 
Two down in the inning, runner at first, gets a good jump and goes. Here's wow. a shot in the left field. The runner will hold at second base. It gets out to Hoover real quickly. So now two hits for that young man, uh, Nagel. Yeah, he's hit both of them very hard, too. Very hard, yes, he has. Billings holds at second base, two down in the inning, two on for Bump Martin, the third baseman. Bump Martin actually walked and scored. But, yeah, Nagel has hit the ball very hard twice now. So now the pitch coming from Salter, swung on slowly, bounded to third. Hallman will have to hurry. His long throw to first is off the bag. If the throw pulls him off the bag, we'll have to see how they score it. Boy, I'll tell you, nothing going right for Lincoln County. No, it's not. Hallman made a good play. He had to charge. He had to throw it fast and unable to get the out at first base. So now we're going to have to wait and see how they score it. Still haven't put anything up. But nonetheless, the bases are loaded. And Scoggins did all he could do to reach up and you know catch the ball without it being thrown away it's an error okay tough error but it's an error ruled so e5, e5. So base is loaded all of a sudden now with two down and harrison hollis who walked and he takes the ball up high i think this young man last year and i may be wrong but he just stood there and took every pitch Six nothing, Kerners will on top, batting in the top of the second inning. All six runs in the first, mm -hmm. but threatening to put more up here. Bases loaded two down. Well, as bad as it's been, if I can just get an out here, that will prevent any more runs from being put on the board. And it's hit. Center two field. Hodges, Hodges should, have, should have a beat on this one, and he does. Calls it in for out number three. So nothing doing. Kernersville threatens, but does not get on the board. No runs, a hit, an error, and they leave the bases full. We go to the bottom of the sack. TRT Trailer Sales Scoreboard, Kernersville 6, Lincoln County, nothing. Right now, one in three drivers is cruising around in a state of skepticism about just how much value their car insurance company is delivering. If you're one of them, State Farm Agent Billy Rowland in Lincoln can help you get to a better state because Billy and her agents will talk with you, listen to you, and help put together a policy that has you written all over it. From cost to coverage, all backed by 24-7 customer support. Feeling less skeptical? Then call State Farm Agent Billy Rowland in Lincoln and officially get to a better state with State Farm. The voice of Woody Durham calling the Hills games brought bright smiles to the faces of Tar Heel fans everywhere. Dr. John L. Cloninger III of Lincoln will brighten your smiles with professional cosmetic dentistry and smile enhancement procedures for everyone. Even Duke fans will smile at the work of this Tar Heel. The office of Dr. John L. Cloninger III is located at 904 Doncha Drive. For an appointment, call 704-735-0765. That's 704-735-0765. And John III says best wishes to all high school athletes. For all of your modular or site-built home needs, see Key Properties in Lincoln. At Key Properties in Lincoln, they offer free site inspections and turnkey construction with 100% financing available. From garages to basements to porches to many other options that are available. Visit the Model Home Center today at 2125 East Main Street in Lincoln or visit the website at keypropertiesinc.com. Call 704-735-0040. For Key Properties in Lincoln, they have homes for everyone at Key Properties. Fleming Stadium, Wilson, North Carolina. David Kiever, Rick Mitchum, Kevin Hastings, and Jason Sane operating our cameras today. As we move to the bottom of the second, Jacob Hoover leading things off, and he takes a strike. Hoover, Holman, and Seymour do up here in the bottom of the second inning. Drew Wilson on the mound for Kernersville. Here's a ground ball out to second. Second baseman fills it, throws it to first in time. So one up, one down here in the Lincoln County second, and it'll bring up Bradley Hallman. Hallman had a terrific defensive play in the first inning. Sure did. Could have been more runs mm -hmm. than there were, more than the six, had he not made a couple of those. 
Had a good day at the plate in game one. Of course, he had uh, one of the two hits this morning. First pitch down low. First pitch of ball, 1-0. and oh. And now the wind and the pitch on the way. All over the right side. Fouled out of play. Fouled out of play, so the count even now, Rick, 1-1. One and one. Now the pitch coming, and it's up and away. Two and one to Hallman. Hallman will be a rising senior at South Lake Christian Academy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Two one now from Wilson on the way, and that's down low. Three balls and a strike. <clears throat> Sun coming out bright now, shining through the holes back in the bleachers. Shadows on the field a little bit. And the pitch outside corner for a strike. Three and two. Three two pitch on the way to Hallman and it's grounded up the middle. Second baseman backhands mm, now throws play. to first in time. How about that? That's a nice play by Rogers to second baseman. Back to back put outs. By Rogers, two up, two down in the inning now, and Brian Seymour will be your hitter. So many times you see a second baseman try to field the ball just as he did, and it bounces over the glove and gets in the outfield, but not that one. Brian Seymour, the right fielder. First pitch, he takes a strike on the outside corner to knees, 0-1. Now the 0-1 pitch coming from Wilson. Curveball, swung on, miss. That's a nasty breaking ball. Yep, 0-2, Seymour swung right over it. No balls, two strikes. Wilson trying to have a 1-2-3 inning and he gets it. Strike three, swing and Seymour's retired. Nothing doing for Lincoln County in the second, a 1-2-3 inning. We go to the third. TRT trailer sales scoreboard remains Kernersville six, Lincoln County nothing. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, it's Mitchum's Kitchen in Vail. Now open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Sunday. Try their all-you-can-eat pancake special. All-you-can-eat for only $3.99 every day. And don't forget about the big Sunday lunch specials. Every day is a great day to eat at Mitchum's Kitchen in Vail. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Call 704-276-1155 for all of your catering needs, too. Take 36% off. That's right, 36% off during the Samsung Best Sellers at your nearest Hendrick Appliance location, including Samsung washers, dryers, and refrigerators. Plus, take 20% off Samsung's best selling ranges and ovens. It's a red, white, and blue saving sale going on right now at your nearest Hendrick Appliance, 2689 East Main Street in Boger City, 4027 East Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia, and 1241 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby. All right, y'all send me on the money. How many dollars on it? What am I paying for it? The name Gates is the most recognized and respected name in the real estate and auction business in Lincoln County. Robert Gates with Gates Real Estate and Auction Group invites you to visit their website for complete details and listings of real estate and upcoming auctions. Visit www.gatesauction.com. That's www.gatesauction.com. Or call 704-735-1977. Sold American. If you want to be treated like family, stop by the drugstore in Lincoln and Vail or Boger City and you will get just that. The drugstore is locally owned and operated. George and his staff take great pride in giving all their customers fast, efficient, quality customer service. They can help you with any prescription or home health care need you may have. Find them on Facebook or at tdspharmacies.com. The drugstore would like to welcome you to their family. Where it missed, I mean. 
course, you're not getting any argument out of the bullpen. Of course, you know, you can't take a chance. You get thrown out because you can't argue balls and strikes. Neither team was elected to do that as this pitch is inside, 3-0. and oh. 3-0 pitch on the way, and that one is in there for a strike. Maybe the umpires like real long games. Well, strike, zones, on strike zones are tighter to, mm -hmm. in the state tournament. Here's a shot down the first base side, and it gets by Scoggins. That had trouble written all yep. over it, David. Played that in between hop, and it goes into right field, and that's the second error charged to Lincoln County now. E3 is how that one scored. Edwards is aboard now for Jacob Williams. Jacob Williams walked uh, his first time up. Number nine hitter in the lineup, a lefty. Left-handed hitter in there to face the right-handed throwing Salter. And the pitch, and swing and a miss. Nothing and one the count now to Williams. Throw back over to first. Gets Edwards back. Right-hander Salter. Checks the runner at first base. They like to run, there's no All doubt. Right. And here's the pitch of the plate, a slow roller to first. He will go to second with it for one, and they get the head runner. Good play, good throw good by play. Scoggins. Mm -hmm. Good play by Scoggins. But just barely got him as a bang, bang, play, bang, bang play at second. So I'm not sure I would have took that chance, but it does pay off for Scoggins, a three to six put out of Edwards down at second on the fielder's choice by Williams. There is now one out in the inning with Williams at first. And it's top of the order time again, Robbie Harrison. Yes, Robbie Harrison now batting. It's actually his third time today. He's uh, walked, scored, and singled. And the first pitch, a bunt laid down the third baseline. Hallman's going to bare hands, throws the first, pulls the runner off the bag. That's probably going to be a hit. Yeah, a little lot of hit. Good Another play good by. play, Hallman, too. It is. With, just to get it one-handed to have a chance yep. to get him out. That one is a base hit, an infield single on the bunt by Harrison. But that moves Williams to second. Harrison's on at first base, and now Evan Rogers, the second baseman, who's looking for his first hit today. Yes, he's grounded out and flew out. So 0 for 2 is Rogers. Still just five hits in the game for Kernsville. The hits have not really been the big problem. They have had timely hits, though. This pitch upstairs over the head of Rogers, a ball. Five walks. This has been the real key, the real issue here for. Oh, yeah. That first inning was disastrous. Yes, it was. Used the same word this morning. Now the pitch to the plate. Bunt down again in front of the plate, and it's going to be a base hit. Nothing they can do with it. Yep, put it right there in nowhere, Lance. Infield bunt. Well, so I tell you what, they're disguising them well. They're not showing bunt, and they're dropping them down, and they are just all but unplayable. Williams moves over to third, down to second. Harrison, back-to-back -back bunt singles. This one by Rogers. The bases are loaded with one out. For Shane Billings. Shane Billings, number three hitter. He's singled, scored, and hit by a pitch. Wow, Lincoln County just cannot keep getting in these situations. But they're all one out. Double play with a race at all. So now Salter from the stretch with the bases loaded steps off the rubber momentarily. Now the pitch to the plate from Salter, breaking pitch that gets past the catcher, but not far enough for the third runner at third, Williams, to try and get in. And the pitch is called a strike, David. So usually it's hard to get that strike call when the catcher misses the ball like he did, but it is 0-1. No balls a strike to Billings.
Six nothing, Kerners were on top and batting in the third with the bases loaded and one out. And from the stretch, Salter's pitch in the dirt again. Good block that time by Reeder. Two ball, excuse me, one ball, one strike. Yes, one on one. Zach Scudder on deck. The sun is hot yeah, shining on our backs <laughs> coming through the stadium now. 1-1 one, one pitch, again in the dirt. 2-1. Two and one. Two balls and a strike. Bases loaded, nowhere to put. Mr. Billings. And Salter now with the stretch. And the 2-1 pitch. Upstairs, ball three. Yes, 3 1 yes. upstairs, Billings, and now Salter's got to come in with one. Base is loaded, the 3 1 pitch on the way, and that is on the outside corner for a strike, and the count's full. 3 and 2. Bases full for Kernersville. 3-2 count. One out in the inning. The payoff pitch. And it's ripped fouled on the left field line. Yeah, that ball's ripped the hard. It was hit hard. Fortunately for Lincoln County, it was foul. So we'll do it all over again. Another payoff pitch here with the bases loaded and one out. Lincoln County trying to keep it from getting any worse, counting on Darren Salter, the relief pitcher, on the hill. And again, the payoff pitch now on the way, and it swung on and missed, breaking pitch. That's a big strikeout for Salter of Billings. First strikeout for Salter, but yes, a big strikeout. Now there's two outs, so as bad as it's been, this inning, still no runs on the board, and Lincoln County can get out of it without here, but... Scudder is up now. Well, this is a cleanup hitter. Yep, Zach Scudder. Over two. Over for two today, but up there's a chance to drive in runs. Uh -oh. Hits one deep into left field. Hodge is going back on it, back on it to the wall, and it's off the wall. That's going to clear the bases. Clear three up. runs will score. Scudder's going to try to get three out of it, and the throw to third base will be late. Three run, base clearing triple for Zach Scudder. Wow, if he was in a slump, he just came out of it right there with a blast. It is now nine to nothing on the TRT trailer cell scoreboard. Scudder has just bashed the baseball. Again, Hodges out there, no chance to get it. The ball was hit so deep. Home run in most. But here, a base clearing triple as it drives in Williams, Harrison, and Rogers, and Coach Bolick. Going back to the mound again. He's going to take the baseball from Salter. That's going to be it for Salter. We'll have a pitching chain, so we'll take a 90-second timeout. 9 nothing. Kerners will. You care about the future of this community. You grew up here. You've raised a family here. Your life is here. So is ours. Carolina Trust Bank. Member FDIC. Community minded. Just like you. Discover something for everyone at the Red Rabbit 27 Shops in Lincoln. For women, you'll find handbags, sunglasses, garden decor, and more. For men, there's outdoor furniture, garden tools, saddles, boots, and chaps. For kids, check out the selection of children's clothes, dog clothes, and baby blankets, too. Everyone will love the birdhouses, artwork, pottery, plants, wicker furniture, antique furniture, and jewelry, too. Located on Highway 27 east of Lincoln, Red Rabbit 27 open Monday through Saturday. Call 704-240-4448.
In the Gospels of Matthew, Luke, and John, we are called to forgive others, and God will forgive us. I find that I can forgive others, and I can ask God to forgive me, but sometimes I find it hard to forgive myself. If you are struggling with forgiveness, as we all do, come to Rhine Heights United Methodist Church and hear of the Lord's grace, mercy, and forgiveness. I am inviting you to come and worship with us Sundays at 11. I am Kathy McAbee, pastor of Rhine Heights United Methodist Church, and we are located on Madison Street, just up from Betty Ross Park. When do you want the job done? Right now, of course. That's why we recommend you call Right Now Contractors for roofing, siding, windows, and more. Right Now Contractors features maintenance-free gutters. Ask about their walk-in spot tubs. And a lifetime warranty on the roofing is available. Just call 704-572-0375 for Right Now Contractors. Or visit the website at rightnowcontractors.com. When you want it done now, call Right Now Contractors. Good luck, Lincoln County Cardinals in the American Point. And it doesn't get any easier. You got Nagel up there who has hit the ball hard twice, a two-run double yeah, so and a single. He's two for two. Had a two-RBI double in the first, had a single in the second, and batting here again in the third. There's Jamison Nagel. I'm not so sure I don't just give him the free pass here. From the stretch now, Sullivan, his first pitch is down low. A ball. Three more runs across here in the third inning for Kernersville. It is now nine to nothing. And the pitch to the plate. That's on the outside corner for a strike. Now the stretch and the 1-1 pitch swung on and lifted into right center field. Is it going to be Hodges? Uh, Hodges on the move. We'll haul it in. And that will do it for out number three in the third. Three more hits for Colonel. Excuse me, three more runs. And three I should hits. say for yes. Colonel. Three hits. There was. Legion State Tournament from American Marine in Denver. Call Randy or Todd at American Marine for the largest selection of new and used boats in the area. We also buy, sell, and trade. And don't forget our full service department, too. American Marine is located at 6118 Highway 16 South in Denver. Open Monday through Friday 9 to 6, Saturday 9 to 3. Call 704-483-8144 or visit our website at amlboats.com. Good luck, Post 455, Lincoln County Cardinals American Legion Baseball. Shop for your home in your home with Budget Blinds of Lincoln. Budget Blinds services the Lincoln, Cherryville, and Shelby area with window coverings for any budget. And mention this radio ad for $20 off per window. Available by appointment only. Call 24 hours a day, 704-483-9580 in Denver, North Carolina for a free in-home consultation. Or visit our showroom at 1901 North Highway 16 in Denver in the Westport Plaza. Budget Blinds does commercial and residential. Sales, service, installation, and repairs all have Handled by our office. Visit our website at budgetblinds.com slash Lincolnton or on Facebook at facebook.com slash BB Lincolnton. Gail Huss, broker realtor with Lake Norman Realty in Denver, is proud to help sponsor the Lincoln County Cardinals in the state baseball tournament. Gail Huss specializes in the Lake Norman area, representing buyers and sellers in Lincoln, Catawba, Iredale, Gaston, and Mecklenburg counties. Gail is a five-time recipient of Charlotte's Best Real Estate Agent Award based on customer satisfaction. Let Gail work for you if it's residential or commercial real estate you need. Call 704-473-6819 or go online at www.gailhuss.com. Office located on Highway 16 in Denver, North Carolina. Good luck, Lincoln County Cardinals. Scoggins. Starting pitcher, but relieved early. Now playing first base. 
Tough break for Nick Scoggins. Didn't even get to, or Savoy didn't even get to hit, but there's a error. It's this error. one right between mm -hmm. the legs of the first baseman. That's going to have to be charged an error, and Scoggins is aboard. So the second runner of the night now for Lincoln County on base. So Scoggins aboard to start the third inning. They need all the base runners they can get, Rick, trailing nine to nothing. And now Darren Salter will come up. Justin Norton was the DH. Yes, he was. So Salter now in that number eight spot. Darren Salter, number five. And the first pitch on just a, well, it is a strike on that outside corner. Lefty, lefty matchup here. First pitch of strike, now the pitch. He lays down a bunt, third base side. Third baseman charges and throws to first in one motion. A nice play. I'll tell you what, the third baseman's third. tough, Martin. Yes, he is. It is a sacrifice bunt as the runner gets down to second. Five to three on the put out. Give him credit for the sack as Scoggins goes down to second base. And now Zach Reeder will be your hitter. Zach Reeder doing the catching here in game two. In that number nine spot on deck is Randall Ortiz. Reader now up there, his first at bat of the day, of the game. Takes the first pitch inside. Don't know if he got to bat in that previously this morning or not, Rick. Can you recall? Yes, I do remember the white helmet that he wears. Okay. He did bat earlier. Yep, flew out to left field. Here's the pitch. And that's down low, 2-0. and Somebody turned the heat up. They sure did. <laughs> Wilmington and Garner to follow this game, the only two teams Absolutely. that haven't lost yet in this tournament. And here's the pitch, and that is also in there at the knees, a strike to Reeder. Of course, we've seen both those teams play. Garner was able to defeat Shelby yesterday, and... Of course, Wilmington this morning all over. Lincoln Wilmington County. is just so strong. Yeah. You know? I mean, they've won their games now nine to one and thirteen to one. Breaking pitch, swung on and missed by Reader. So the count goes two and two. David Scoggins is at second base, and a two-two pitch inside. So the count goes full. Three balls, two strikes. Payoff pitch coming with the runner down at second base, Scoggins, and it swung on and fouled off from the right side. Out of play. Drew Wilson yet has not given up a hit in this game for Kernersville. And the payoff pitch on the way. And that's outside, ball four. Boy, I tell you, that's another one that, he, you know, good Close. for Lincoln County. Good for Lincoln County, you're but right. He has called that a strike a lot today. Okay, we're back at the top of the lineup now. Number 12, Randall Ortiz is going to come to the plate with the runners on first and second. There are one out in this bottom half of the third inning. So Lincoln County looking to get on the board here at least, Rick. If nothing else, mm -hmm. got to scratch a little bit. Trailing nine to nothing. Two runners aboard here, one out. First pitch to Ortiz is in there for a strike. Ortiz flew out to the left fielder his first time up. Ortiz has had a bumpy tournament in a way of being hit a lot, being injured. Next pitch is low, one and one. Clay Hodges is on deck. And the 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. Swung on and missed. And it's a throw back to second. And they got him. How about that? Wow, we've seen that. Pick the runner off. Pick. Lincoln County is just beating their sales rip with poor yes, base running. Are. Two to six. Two to six put out. Wow. Just not playing smart baseball right now. And now... That's two down in the inning, and the count is one and two to Ortiz, your only base runner now. 
is the runner at first base, Reeder. And now the pitch to the plate. Swung on and missed, and that'll do it. They'll throw the first to complete the strikeout. Ortiz is retired, and nothing doing for Lincoln County. What looked to be maybe a promising inning comes to an end in a hurry after the pickoff and the strikeout. No runs, no hits in the inning. There was an error, a walk, but a pickoff, and one runner left on base. Three complete in the books. TRT trailer sales scoreboard now as Kernersville 9, Lincoln County nothing. Okay, folks, here's a question for you. Now, listen, if you could pay less for your office products and have them delivered to your door, if that money stayed right here in your community, and if you could choose from a selection of office supplies made right here in America, and if you'd like to truly say that you buy local, wouldn't you make the switch to King's Office Supply? Located at 227 East Main Street, King's Office Supply has been serving Lincoln County and surrounding areas for over 60 years. Come on now, make the switch and feel good about supporting your local small business. Do you own a farm? If so, LMI Agency in downtown Lincoln now offers farm owner coverage through Ace Agribusiness. Ace specializes in farm and ranch insurance, including multiple peril, crop hail, specialty crop lines, farm property and casualty, commercial auto, and farm umbrella excess. Give one of their farm insurance agents a call today at 704-735-2604 for a free quote on a great farm insurance product. LMI Agency. 228 East Main Street in downtown Lincoln. And don't forget, they also offer home and automobile insurance. Again, call 704 704-735-2604. Vesuvius Vineyards and Iron Station is proud to help sponsor the Lincoln County Cardinals American Legion State Tournament Games. Vesuvius Vineyards provide a very private surrounding on 350 acres with sprawling vineyards behind the oldest standing house in Lincoln County built in 1792. We're a perfect location for weddings, reunions, anniversaries and birthday parties, corporate events, Christmas parties and more. Call for more details at 704-996-1566 or 843-422-4079. Online at VesuviusVineyards.com or email us at info at VesuviusVineyards.com. Located at 6173 Vesuvius Furnace Road in Iron Station, North Carolina, 28080. Shot in the left field off the bat of Bump Martin, his first hit of the day, and that was a rocket. Yeah, that was, that was laced up there to the left. Lead off single here for Kerns win inning number four. And now it'll bring up Harrison Hollis. Harrison Hollis walked and flew out to play Hodges. So 0 for 1. Hollis ready for it. The delivery from Sullivan is down and away, a ball. Runner at first, Martin, nobody out. Sullivan on the hill. He is the third Lincoln County pitcher of the day of this game. Now the pitch to the plate, hit well into left center field. Hodges got a beat on it, going back on it, and will make the play. The runner will retreat back to first base. Martin, nice play by Hodges out there in center field. So one down now, Martin back to first base, and it'll bring up the DH, Mitchell Edwards. Edwards walked, scored a run, and has reached Solon era. The DH in that number eight spot. Jacob Williams on deck. And the first pitch by Williams, is, excuse me, Sullivan is outside. First pitch down and away. Mm -hmm. Edwards looking for his first hit. So. Kerners will up to eight hits now in the game, and this pitch, a breaking pitch, stays upstairs, 2-0. and oh. Two balls, no strikes. 
Sullivan looks at the runner and delivers the pitch. And that is down and away again, 3-0. Five walks in the first inning. Lincoln County has not issued one since then. But on the verge here with a 3-0 count, and there's a strike down the middle of the plate. Three and one. Edwards, the eight hitter. He'll be followed by Williams, the number nine hitter. Then back to the top here for Kernersville. 3-1 pitch on the way is fouled back into the screen. And it's now three and two, a full count. You got to wonder if they'll send Martin from first base. Well, it is three two, and they like to run. Yes, They've they do. Shown throughout the game so far, they like to run the bases. Now the payoff pitch, he doesn't go, and it doesn't matter. It's down and away, ball four. So down to second goes Martin. Edwards now at first with one out, and Jacob Williams, the left fielder. Stands in. Yes, Jacob Williams, number nine hitter. Walked and reached on a fielder's choice, number nine hitter. Now, a meeting at the mound as Reader's going to go out and talk with Sullivan a minute. Make sure they. Don't have their signals crossed. Make sure they're on the same page. Back in place now is Reader, and we're set. And the first pitch to Jacob Williams. Down low and inside a ball. Martin at second. Edwards at first. One out in the inning. Colonels were trying to add to a lead that is already nine to nothing. And now the pitch to the plate, down and in again, 2-0. Sullivan having some difficulties now. This would have been the last thing, Rick, I thought we would have seen out of Lincoln County pitching. Yes, uh, of all I things, agree. I could have seen lack of hitting or, you know, anything other than control issues from their pitchers. 2-0 pitch, curveball, that's in there for a strike. Well, no, it's not. Sorry, I tried to umpire again. <laughs> Oh, me. Where was that one? 3-0. and And now the 3-0 pitch again on the way. And that's in there for a strike. And now he gets booed from the other side. You can't tell me the, thir the third pitch didn't look better than the strike called on the fourth pitch. 3-1 on the count now. This one popped up, infield. Should be playable out there at shortstop for Ortiz, and he makes the play for the second out. So two down now, still two runners aboard. Back to the top of the order for Rob, Robbie Harrison, who's perfect on the day. This is fourth about already. It's walked, singled, infield single. Two RBIs as well. Mm -hmm. Martin is the runner at second. Edwards is at first base. Two down. Sullivan trying to get out of a jam, and this one is down and away. A ball. One of these teams in this tournament, if not two, will be headed to the southeast. Well, two of these will be. Let me put it that way. Two of these teams two will up, be headed yes. to the southeast region. There's a pop-up first base side, and it's going to be pulled in by Scoggins. For out number three. So Lincoln County escapes without any more damage here in inning number four. No runs, one hit, no errors, a walk, two runners left on base. We go to the bottom of the fourth. TRT trailer sales scoreboard remains Kernersville nine, Lincoln County nothing. Mention this radio ad and take $1 off each bag of Neutrina feed you purchase from St. Ace Hardware in Lincoln. All for good for Neutrina River Run dog food. Starting at $17.99 for a 50-pound bag. Also good on Neutrina Country Feeds layer pellets. Starting at $13.49 for a 50-pound bag. And Neutrina Wrangler Horse Feed in pellet or sweet. Starting at $8.99 for a 50-pound bag. 
and mention this radio ad and get $1 off each bag you purchase. St. Ace Hardware, Highway 150 West, 27 Intersection in Lincoln. Trailers for everything, and we mean it, at TRT Trailer Sales in Lincoln, 3302 Gastonia Highway. Trailers for hauling livestock, motorcycles, and cars. You'll find dump trailers, utility, and landscaping trailers. You'll find racing trailers with finished interiors, plus the tag-along and gooseneck trailers, insulated trailers with tack compartments and 110 packages. Call toll-free at 1-877-279-7465 or visit the website, trtrailersales.com. $500 off. $500 $500 off any big dog X series more from West End Sales and Veil. Bring in the ad from this week's WhatsApp shopper and take $500 off any big dog X series mower. These mowers feature a big 26 horsepower Kawasaki engine and a big 52 inch cut, but that's not all. Bring in the same ad in the WhatsApp shopper and take $50 off any Cub Cadet Tiller in stock or any Land Pride mower in stock. Only from West End Sales. 110 Highway 18 North at the Highway 27 intersection in Vail. They've been so hospitable and tried to help, believe it or not, tried to help the media of all things. Yes, the, they pe- have. the folks yes, here this weekend sure have really tried to help the media. You just don't see that at state tournaments, and we re- greatly appreciate it. So, Clay Hodge is leading off. Foul fouls, that one out of play. Fouls out of play. New pitcher Ryan Smith yes, on the Smith hill. On the hill. Don't know if they made any more changes or not, but we got a righty there. Here's one popped out of play the other way. And Hodges in the hole, Rick 0 2. Hodges, Sullivan, and Hoover do up. Hodges, like all the Lincoln County players, still looking for the first hit of the day. He will get to come back and play again next year. This one outside. A ball. Of course, Hodges was injured in that state championship football game. Talked to him a little bit about that. He said it just took some time for him to heal up. This one popped up high on the infield. Should be playable shortstop making the call. And he hauls it in. Hodges is retired for the first out. So now Danny Sullivan, the pitcher right now for Lincoln County. Yes, he is. Grounded out to the shortstop his first time up. And here's a little soft pop out in the left field. Foul territory given chase, but nobody's going to get there. Left fielder gave it a good effort, but just couldn't get there. A lot of foul territory here at this ballpark. Yeah, we've mentioned that plenty of times, and that's an understatement, really. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nine to nothing. Kernersville leads here and Lincoln County trying to scratch the board. The pitch is up and in. One ball and a strike to Sullivan. And this pitch bounces up, two and one. Two balls, one strike. Ryan Smith on the hill. Pitch is inside, goes to the backstop. Well, I got a second. I'd like to thank a couple of our sponsors, American Legion Baseball sponsors from Lincoln County, for Lincoln County Cardinal Baseball, Dellinger Builder Supply. Dellinger Building Supply and Builders, actually, Highway 16 South in Lowesville. Go in and uh, check them out. Owner Lindy Dellinger and the gang. Here's one drilled by Sullivan, left field, pretty well hit, but it's going to be a foul ball. May have had home run distance. It did have home run distance. Knocks it out of the park, but uh, it was foul. Also, Tony's Cleaning Services of Denver, Highway 16 North. Tony's Cleaning furnishes lawn service and building cleaning. Also, one of our American Legion Baseball sponsors, sponsors here for the state tournament. Glad to have them aboard. Randolph a winner earlier this afternoon over Shelby, 10-6. to six. They advance to tomorrow's play. If they go by the bracket, they'll play tomorrow at 1 o'clock. 
Sullivan hits this one high in the air to center field. Should be playable out there for Harrison. Harrison does make the catch. And he's got it. For out number two, so two up, two down now, and it's going to bring up the left fielder, Jacob Hoover. Hoover grounded out to the second baseman. His only time up thus far. The way this game is going, it looks like the uh, the, the bracket could be set. It looks like that Randolph will be playing the loser of tonight's game no matter what. Okay. Because I don't think they've played Wilmington or Garner, have they? This pitch outside. We'll have to check on that one. I can't remember that far back. Even though they have not. <laughs> they have not. Next pitch is shot, shot up the middle. Center for a base hit. Hoover drills one up the middle into center field. That is the first hit of this game for Lincoln County. Good at bat by Hoover. Just took the ball right back where it came from and gets that into center field. And that'll bring up Bradley Holman. Allman also grounded out to the second baseman, his first time up. Two outs here in the bottom of the fourth. And there's one hit out to the shortstop, and he goes to second base, and that's going to do it. 6-4 put out of Hoover on the fielder's choice by Hallman. No runs for Lincoln County, a hit, no errors, one runner left. Four complete. We go to the fifth. TRT Trailer Sales scoreboard remains Kernersville 9, Lincoln County nothing. The old saying, you can't keep a good man down, now applies to Brookwood Cafe and Catering. The new Brookwood Cafe and Catering is located on Providence Mill Road in Maiden, featuring the same great food and service you remember. The world's greatest fried chicken and world-famous penny browns once again satisfy your appetite. Brookwood Cafe and Catering is serving the same great breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Brookwood Cafe and Catering on Providence Mill Road in Maiden. Stop by before the game or call ahead for your tailgate items, 828-428-8944. It's time to jump in. Jump in and cool off with a dip in your backyard pool. To help keep your pool sparkling clean all summer long, see Carolina Hardware Garden and Pool Center on the Reedfield Road in Lincoln. They carry a full line of BioGuard products. Plus, they'll analyze your water to make sure you get the right blend of BioGuard. And keep your yard looking great with a new Huxvarna Zero Turn, Tractor, Push Mower, or Trimmer. Carolina Hardware and Garden Center on the Reedfield Road in Lincoln. The Big Splash Sales Event is underway at Our Lane Motorsports in Lincoln. It's time to come in and cool off this summer with a new Kawasaki Jet Ski Watercraft. Brand new model started only $89.99. Come on in for all the details. You'll find one that's just right for you for your summertime fun. Ask about great rebates and low, low financing now available. Plus, they have golf carts too. Don't miss the Big Splash Sales Event going on now at Our Lane Motorsports. Highway 27 east of Shelby at the Highway 73 intersection. Shane Billings and Zach Scudder for Kernersville. Rogers one for three on the day. We'll lead things off here. Sullivan on the hill. And the first pitch from Sullivan is outside the ball. Sullivan's 1-0 pitch, again down and away. Two balls, no strikes here to start the count on Evan Rogers. Looks like Randolph County, if I look at my bracket right, no doubt they'll play tomorrow at 1 o'clock because tomorrow. nobody left is going to have played each other if Kernersville hangs on to win this game. Next pitch is high and away. So the one thing they don't know oh. is that who their opponent is. They'll play the loser of the game tonight. Here's the pitch, and if Kernersville wins this, they'll play the night game tomorrow. Afternoon, late game. There's a pitch ball four. Rogers is aboard on the leadoff walk. That's a word I've said way too much today. Yeah, you've said that a few times already. Shane Billings now up. Singled, hit by a pitch, struck out. Now the pitch from Sullivan. 
And that is on the outside corner for a strike. Zach Scudder waits on deck. If I've counted right, 13 walks have been issued by Lincoln County pitching today in, two, in a game and a half and two or three hit batters. This pitch outside. And out of those 13 walks, most of them have scored. 13. One ball, one strike here to Billings. And the pitch from Sullivan to the plate, swung on a miss. And the count goes to one and two. Shane Billings, one for two today, was hit by a pitch as well. One, two on the way, runner goes, and it's slap foul out of play on the right side. Runner will head back and we'll reset it, do it again. Scott is making chase, but no way he was going to catch up to that foul ball. So one and two on the count. Rogers has to come back to first. Now the stretch by Sullivan. He takes a look at the runner at first base and the one-two pitch again on the way. And again, it's fouled out of play on the right side by Billings. Well, if things hold true to form, if I can't imagine Randolph, excuse me, Kerners will blow in this lead, two teams that lost on opening day to Area 4 will win today against Area 4 teams yes, they as they kind of crisscrossed and played each other. Pitch to the plate upstairs, a ball. Garring a, 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 uh, a, a, a big-time comeback. By Lincoln County. That's exactly what's going to happen. Kerners will play in the night cap tomorrow night. Here's the pitch again. Down and away. Going to run Three it to balls, four. two strikes. Yes. Nine to nothing. Kerners will on top. A runner aboard here, no outs, and a 3-2 pitch coming to Billings. Sullivan with the delivery, and it's ripped into left field between short and third, a base hit. So Billings picks up his second hit of the night. Yeah, another sharply hit mm -hmm. baseball there, Rick, off the bat of Billings. Rogers holds up at second base. Two runners aboard, nobody out now for Zach Scudder. Mm. Scudder, big triple his last time up, which produced three RBIs. Young man said it had been in a slump, but he came out of it the last time up with a big blast. Now with a one out, he has runners on first and second. Scudder, big young man. Awaits the Sullivan pitch, and it's on the way, and that misses up and away, ball one. One and oh to Scudder. Sullivan looks at the runners. And the one oh pitch on the way. In there for a strike. Well, I was starting to wonder. I thought the late call. Say down low. Mm -hmm. One one on the count. One ball, one strike. To Scudder. Sullivan's pitch on the way is grounded foul toward the Lincoln County dugout. It's one and two now. Garner and Wilmington, the nightcap, the last two of the unbeatens, will probably get underway if I had to estimate right now around 8.30, roughly. So everything's roughly, what, an hour behind? With, yeah, that wouldn't be too That's bad. That's not bad, really, considering. Uh, considering we had a game stuck in there today that wasn't scheduled mm -hmm. and a rain delay. Yes. Here's one lifted out in the left field, pretty well hit, but Hoover back on it will make the play for the first out. So Scudder retired on the fly to left field. One down now, still two runners aboard for Jamison Nagel. Nagel, two RBI double in the first, a single in the second, flew out in third, so two for three.
Big right-handed hitter. Waiting on the pitch from Sullivan. Sullivan looks at the runners, now delivers to the plate, and it's fouled on the right side out of play. Nothing and one now to Jamison Nagel. Goes to show you how tough a pitcher Dustin Green from Shelby is. Held this Kernersville team to one run on one opening run. day. On Four opening to one day. Shelby win on opening day. And Randolph, who scored 10 today, Justin Norton held them to three. Only one earned on opening day. Here's a fly ball, ball right side, foul territory. Scoggins will make the catch. Now turn and throw to third. And Lincoln County throwing the ball around. They get two, two base runners advance. It is a pop-up to first base in foul territory off the bat of Jamison for the second out. But as Rogers tags and goes to third, the throw goes over there. Billings smartly takes second base. And now there's two in scoring position with two down for Bump Martin. Bump Martin. What a name. That's got to be a nickname. <laughs> I wonder. I think, yeah. <laughs> Martin has walked and singled, so officially one for one thus far. Sullivan on the hill with his first pitch to Martin. And that is in there for a strike at the knees, nothing in one. Oh one, the count. Runners at second and third get their leads. The 0-1 pitch, a swing and a miss by Martin. He's quickly in the hole 0 and two against Sullivan. Sullivan's done a pretty good job, Rick, since he's come he has, in yes. in the third inning. Has not allowed a run. Hope I don't jinx him here. He has given up two walks, but yes, he's uh, he's been called on in a critical situation, really, and it's uh, he's doing the best he can. Two down in the inning, two runners aboard. Rogers at third, Billings at second. A one-two pitch on the way now to Martin, and it's fouled back into the screen, and it stays one and two. Lincoln County, no runs a hit, two errors. Kerners will trying to add to their nine runs, nine hits, and one error. Sullivan trying to get out of the jam. The pitch, a breaking pitch, uh, just misses outside, and it's two and two. Rogers reached on a walk. Billings reached on a single. They're now at second and third. And the 2-2 pitch, swung on, lifted into right field, pretty well hit, but should be playable. Seymour out there to make the catch. Seymour hauls it in for out number three, so nothing doing for Kearns. Well, no runs a hit, no errors a walk, two runners left. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Your score on the TRT Trailer Sales scoreboard, Kearns will nine, Lincoln County, nothing. Your reasons for a personal loan are as individual as you are. As a community bank, we understand that. We're the bank with a focus on service. So we'll help you design a loan plan that fits your needs and your budget. Talk to us about your personal reasons for a personal loan. First National Bank, hometown banking since 1874. Member FDIC. Right now, one in three drivers is cruising around in a state of skepticism about just how much value their car insurance company is delivering. If you're one of them, State Farm Agent Billy Rowland in Lincoln can help you get to a better state because Billy and her agents will talk with you, listen to you, and help put together a policy that has you written all over it. From cost to coverage, all backed by 24-7 customer support. Feeling less skeptical? Then call State Farm Agent Billy Rowland in Lincoln and officially get to a better state with State Farm. Touchdown, Carolina! 
The voice of Woody Durham calling the Hills Gangs brought bright smiles to the faces of Tar Heel fans everywhere. Dr. John L. Cloninger III of Lincoln will brighten your smiles with professional cosmetic dentistry and smile enhancement procedures for everyone. Even Duke fans will smile at the work of this Tar Heel. The office of Dr. John L. Cloninger III is located at 904 Doncha Drive. For an appointment, call 704-735-0765. That's 704-735-0765. And John III says best wishes to all high school athletes. Here in the bottom of the fifth. And the first pitch was over his inside, head. Yes, man. High and tight. Now a check swing. He fouls it out of play. And it's one ball, one strike to see more. Strikeout victim in the second inning. Yes, he was. Seymour Scoggins and Salter do up. This pitch miss is in there for a strike. The delayed call back got me again there. <laughs> One ball, two strikes now to Seymour. And now he fouls his one, two off. Ryan Smith, your Kernersville pitcher, on in relief. Nine nothing cushion for him out there. Got to feel pretty good coming in with a lead like that. Next pitch is fouled out of play also. We'll do it again. One and two. One ball, two strikes. Seymour, the leadoff hitter here in the fifth, and this pitch lifted out into center field. Should be playable. And Harrison. it's caught by Harrison for the first out. So one up, one down here in the Lincoln County fifth inning, and it'll bring up David Scoggins. Scoggins, big left-handed hitting kid. David Scoggins. Well, I've seen my favorite uniforms the entire tournament now. If you look into the, the, the Garner, Garner putting on the gold jerseys, the bright yellow gold jerseys with the royal blue. Now, that's me. I love that. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah, Richard says it looks like the high school football uniforms, and it does. They look good in that. I want a jersey. How do I buy one? Well, I don't know. I said I've seen my favorite uniforms of the tournament now. Garner. Now the pitch on the way, swung on and missed by Scoggins. Two and one the count. Two balls, one strikes, one out in the inning. Nobody aboard for Lincoln County here in the fifth. And now this one ripped into center field, but right at the center fielder. Harrison again. Yep. Hauls it in almost in his tracks. Yes. So and now two down, and it'll bring up Darren Salter. It's got both put outs here in this bottom of the fifth inning. Darren Salter now up at the plate, had a sacrifice bunt in the third. Left-handed hitter. Lefty stands in there to face Ryan Smith. The first pitch is in there for a strike. Nothing in one. Fastball right across the heart of the plate. And this one, a bunt laid down, third baseline. Third baseman charges, throws in one motion. And this time, the throwing error, it goes down the right side. Salter will round second. He's headed for third. Here comes the throw all the way across the diamond to third, and Salter's in there standing up. So probably a hit and a two-base error, okay. I would guess. And here's where the foul territory really came into play. I think he had a hit, no matter what. It looked like he was probably going to beat it out, but we'll wait on the official ruling. Yep, hit and an error. Hit and an error. Salter has the second Lincoln County hit. But then the two base error gets him to third. So Lincoln County has their first runner to third base in this baseball game, trailing 9 0. Two down, and Zach Reeder with a chance to get the Cardinals on the board. Reeder walked in his only appearence thus far, and he hits this one. Pretty well hit left field. Left fielder going back on it. Center fielder back on it. Center fielder will make the catch. Makes oh, all three put outs. Yes, he does. And this one a nice catch on the run for out number three. So four Lincoln County, no runs, a hit, no errors. One runner left on base. Five complete in the books. We go to the six. TRT trailer sales scoreboard. Kerners will up 9-0 on Lincoln County.
For all of your modular or site-built home needs, see Key Properties in Lincoln. At Key Properties in Lincoln, they offer free site inspections and turnkey construction with 100% financing available. From garages to basements to porches to many other options that are available. Visit the Model Home Center today at 2125 East Main Street in Lincoln or visit the website at keypropertiesinc.com. Call 704-735-0040. For Key Properties in Lincoln, they have homes for everyone at Key Properties. For breakfast, lunch, or dinner, it's Mitchum's Kitchen in Vail. Now open from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday, 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Sunday. Try their all-you-can-eat pancake special. All-you-can-eat for only $3.99 every day. And don't forget about the big Sunday lunch specials. Every day is a great day to eat at Mitchum's Kitchen in Vail. Open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Call 704-276-1155 for all of your catering needs, too. Take 36% off. That's right, 36% off during the Samsung Best Sellers at your nearest Hendrick Appliance location, including Samsung washers, dryers, and refrigerators. Plus, take 20% off Samsung's best selling ranges and ovens. It's a red, white, and blue savings sale going on right now at your nearest Hendrick Appliance, 2689 East Main Street in Boger City, 4027 East Franklin Boulevard in Gastonia, and 1241 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby. All right, y'all send me on the money. How many dollars on it? What am I paying for it? The name Gates is the most recognized and respected name in the real estate and auction business in Lincoln County. Robert Gates with Gates Real Estate and Auction Group invites you to visit their website for complete details and listings of real estate and upcoming auctions. Visit www.gatesauction.com. That's www.gatesauction.com. Or call 704-735-1977. Sold American. <laughs> I cannot believe this. One ball, the count. Now time is called. A ball on the field out of the bullpen down there, holding us up a minute. Carnesville has that action in the bullpen, so. Pitch down low now. Two balls, no strikes to Harrison Hollis. Danny Sullivan still on the mound for Lincoln County. And 2-0 pitch on the way. It's hit There's sharply. a shot down the line, Rick. It's going to be extra bases for sure. Yep, Hollis rounding first, headed to second. He'll get there standing up. He'll put the brakes on right there as Hoover gets it back in. But a sharp hit double for Harrison Hollis to start the sixth inning for Kernersville. So now the designated hitter, Mitchell Edwards, a couple of walks and reached on an error. Been on all three times. Yes, he has. Walked and scored in that first and reached on an error in the third and walked in the fourth. Hollis, you're running around at second base, trying to add to the 9 nothing lead. Here's the pitch down and away to Mitchell Edwards. Sullivan still working here on the mound. And the pitch swung on, fouled off at the plate. One ball, one strike to Edwards now. Nobody out runner down at second base. Hollis, he led off the inning with a double. Trying to add to post 36's 9 nothing advantage. And Sullivan from the stretch delivers the pitch. And that one's in the dirt. Two and a, excuse me, two and one, I should say. Two balls and a strike. Sullivan's delivery. Again, down and away. Three and one the count. Wilmington and Garner have arrived for their 
nightcap and what you have to call the biggest game of the tournament so far. Oh, One yes. team will be left undefeated. Absolutely, yes. The Here's winner is definitely in the driver's seat. Swung on, fouled on the right side into the bullpen. Foul. Of course, we mentioned this morning, Wilmington trying to win their second strike and mm -hmm. go ahead of everyone as far as having the most state titles in North Carolina. If they can win this state championship here. 3-2 pitch on the way by Sullivan, and it's in the Bounces dirt, Bounces it up there. Mm -hmm. Edwards draws the walk. He'll head to first base. Hollis still at second base. Nobody out, and Jacob Williams will be your hitter. Williams looking for his first hit in that number nine spot. He has been on base, though, with a walk. So from the stretch, Sullivan's pitch bounces it up there. One ball to Williams. Control, control, control. It's been a trouble today for these Lincoln County pitchers this morning and now this afternoon. The stretch by Sullivan and the pitch to the plate all the way to the backstop. Wild pitch will allow both runners to move up 90 feet. Hollis goes to third base. Down to second goes Edwards. And the count is 2-0. Oh. Now to... If you want to be treated like family, stop by the drugstore in Lincoln and Vail or Boger City, and you will get just that. The drugstore is locally owned and operated. George and his staff take great pride in giving all their customers fast, efficient, quality customer service. They can help you with any prescription or home health care need you may have. Find them on Facebook or at tdspharmacies.com. The Drugstore would like to welcome you to their family. You care about the future of this community. You grew up here. You've raised a family here. Your life is here. So is ours. Carolina Trust Bank. Member FDIC. Community minded. Just like you. But the problem is there's nobody out. You don't want to allow too many base runners here and dig the hole even deeper if you're Lincoln County. Now the pitch to the plate, in there for a strike, three and one. Of course, Carnersville's definitely thinking about getting one more run on the board so they could mm -hmm. end this game early. End it early, you get some rest, you save some save pitching. Save some pitching, yep. Here's the pitch grounded to first base side. Scoggins will run to the bag and get the only out. It's an RBI ground out for Williams as Hollis comes in to score the 10th run of the game. Over to third base goes Edwards. Three unassisted. Williams is retired. And now back to the top of the order for Robbie Harrison. Robbie Harrison. Big Impressive day. ball player. Yes. Good leadoff hitter. Plays center field, too. How many center fielders you see lead off? Just Hundred. Hundreds. Hundreds. <laughs> Hundreds, yes. Here's a lot. Fly into center field, left center field. Hodges is calling for it. He make the play. The runner will tag at third. He'll come in to score easily. Two outs in the inning. It is a sacrifice fly and an RBI for Harrison. That is Edwards coming in to score the 11th run of the day. Now there are two down in the sixth, and it'll bring up Evan Rogers. Evan Base Rogers. is clear. Yes, Evan Rogers rounded out, flew out. Got an infield spunt single, scored in the third, and has walked, so. 11-0 Kernersville lead. And now Rogers to face Sullivan. Base is clear, both runners come in to score. And now the pitch from Sullivan to the play, the curveball outside to Evan Rogers. Mm -hmm. 
And the 1-0 swung on and grounded to third. That's Hallman fielding it. Long throw across the diamond in time to get Rodgers four out number three. But not before Kernersville puts a couple more on the board. Two runs in the inning on one hit. There were no errors and nobody left on base. We go to the bottom of the sixth. TRT Trailer Sales scoreboard now. Kernersville 11, Lincoln County nothing. Discover something for everyone at the Red Rabbit 27 Shops in Lincoln. For women, you'll find handbags, sunglasses, garden decor, and more. For men, there's outdoor furniture, garden tools, saddles, boots, and chaps. For kids, check out the selection of children's clothes, dog clothes, and baby blankets, too. Everyone will love the birdhouses, artwork, pottery, plants, wicker furniture, antique furniture, and jewelry, too. Located on Highway 27 east of Lincoln, Red Rabbit 27 open Monday through Saturday. Call 704-240-4448. In the Gospels of Matthew, Luke, and John, we are called to forgive others and God will forgive us. I find that I can forgive others and I can ask God to forgive me, but sometimes I find it hard to forgive myself. If you are struggling with forgiveness, as we all do, come to Rhine Heights United Methodist Church and hear of the Lord's grace, mercy, and forgiveness. I am inviting you to come and worship with us Sundays at 11. I am Kathy McAbee, pastor of Rhine Heights United Methodist Church, and we are located on Madison Street, just up from Betty Ross Park. When do you want the job done? Right now, of course. That's why we recommend you call Right Now Contractors. For roofing, siding, windows, and more. Right now, Contractors features maintenance-free gutters. Ask about their walk-in spa tubs. And a lifetime warranty on the roofing is available. Just call 704-572-0375 for Right Now Contractors. Or visit the website at rightnowcontractors.com. When you want it done now, call Right Now Contractors. And welcome back to Fleming Stadium. David Keever and Rick Mitchum here bringing you Lincoln County and Kernersville. And today it's been all Kernersville through the first five and a half innings. 11 nothing. they lead the game. And now Ortiz will lead things off for Lincoln County. And we have a new pitcher on the mound for Kernersville. Matt French is now pitching, number 28, French. Any of you folks that are watching at home, listening at home, whatever, if, you're, if you lose video – or audio, either one or both, whatever it may be. Restart your computer first. A lot of times the computer's set a while and they just lose it. But uh, all good on this end. All good here. Here's a shot off the bat at Ortiz, but a nice play out there at short. Billings. Yep. Throw to first in time to get Ortiz. One up and one down here in the sixth inning. That'll bring up Clay Hodges, the center fielder for this Lincoln County team. He has walked and uh, flew out. Rick, that could have been uh, that could have been uh, Ortiz' final at bat for post 455 in his career. If uh, Lincoln County does not rally here, that is true. Hodges ground ball up the middle, nice wow. backhand by the second baseman, flips it to what. first in time. They are really play good defensively. They sure do. Sure do. No, no, no doubt about that. And again, David, that is, goes back to what you said, what a pitcher green is or was for Shelby to hold this team down. But uh, one pitcher can't win the whole tournament. That's the uh, yep. That's just the way it goes. So now two down in the inning, and Danny Sullivan, who has pitched well in relief, just gave up two runs last inning but had uh, been scored, not scored upon until that. Kind of like Danny Selvin does a little bit of everything. Third base short. Comes in pitches as he have to. Outside corner for a strike now to Sullivan. It's one and one. Of course, you're talking about another young man that could possibly be playing his last game. Pitch to the plate. Down and away. Two balls and a strike to Sullivan. Two down in the six. Nobody aboard. Lincoln County trailing Kernersville. 11 zip. And here's a shot over the shortstop's head into left field. Sullivan with the base hit. Also could it be his final at bat as a post-455 player. 
He's a victim of the early birthday. Yep. And if that's the case, Rick, he has ended ended it the way it should be ended for him with a base hit. I know. Because yes. he is one of the hottest players in the state in the playoffs. That'll bring up Jacob Hoover. Hoover will age out, so this could be his possible last bat, too. Mm -hmm. We hate to talk about stuff like that, but, you know. It's just, no, we just want folks to know. Yeah. Hoover hits one. And the Phil Beam, the first base umpire, almost dove into it head first. <laughs> yes, it, <did. laughs> it was hooking the way he was diving. He should have dove in, inside the line. But uh, fortunately for him, it didn't hit him. I mean, he's 95, 100 feet away, and still that baseball travels fast. Nothing and one the count now to Jacob Hoover, and the pitch on the way has popped foul left side out of play. So quickly 0-2 to Jacob Hoover. Two outs in the inning, runner at first base, Sullivan. He singled a two-out hit. Lincoln County just trying to get on the board. you got to have two runs to extend the game past the seventh inning. Yes, you do. And now the stretch and the pitch to Hoover. Swung on a miss at a curveball. Hoover goes down on strikes for out number three. No runs a hit, no errors. One runner left. We go to the seventh inning. TRT Trailer Sales Scoreboard, Kernersville 11, Lincoln County, nothing. Good luck, Lincoln County Cardinals, in the American Legion State Tournament from American Marine in Denver. Call Randy or Todd at American Marine for the largest selection of new and used boats in the area. We also buy, sell, and trade. And don't forget our full service department, too. American Marine is located at 6118 Highway 16 South in Denver. Open Monday through Friday 9 to 6, Saturday 9 to 3. Call 704-483-8144 or visit our website at amlboats.com. Good luck, Post 455, Lincoln County Cardinals American Legion Baseball. Shop for your home in your home with Budget Blinds of Lincoln. Budget Blinds services the Lincoln, Cherryville, and Shelby area with window coverings for any budget. And mention this radio ad for $20 off per window. Available by appointment only. Call 24 hours a day, 704-483-9580 in Denver, North Carolina for a free in-home consultation. Or visit our showroom at 1901 North Highway 16 in Denver in the Westport Plaza. Budget Blinds does commercial and residential. Sales, service, installation, and repairs all have Handled by our office. Visit our website at budgetblinds.com slash Lincoln or on Facebook at facebook.com slash BB Lincoln. Gail Huss, broker realtor with Lake Norman Realty in Denver, is proud to help sponsor the Lincoln County Cardinals in the state baseball tournament. Gail Huss specializes in the Lake Norman area, representing buyers and sellers in Lincoln, Catawba, Iredell, Gaston, and Mecklenburg counties. Gail is a five-time recipient of Charlotte's Best Real Estate Agent Award based on customer satisfaction. Let Gail work for you if it's residential or commercial real estate you need. Call 704-473-6819 or go online at www.gailhuss.com. Office located on Highway 16 in Denver, North Carolina. Good luck, Lincoln County Cardinals. That every one of those things. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to put your headset back on when we go back to broadcast. Well, I'm not sitting beside <laughs> of you now. I'm sitting back here where it stretch out a little bit. And uh, fly ball to right field. And Billings is retired. So one pitch, one out here in the seventh inning. It brings up Zach Scudder. He only has one hit, Rick, but it was a blast. It was, it was a shot. Three-run triple. That. Yes. Zach Scudder had the... Triple back at the third inning. First pitch is in the dirt from Ortiz. Which the bases were loaded at the time, so he got three big RBIs. Now the pitch to the plate. And that's in there for a strike one and one. If things hold up as they are right now, Randolph County is going to play tomorrow at 1 o'clock against the loser of the nightcap, Garner or Wilmington. Kernersville will play tomorrow at 5 o'clock against the winner of that game. This pitch misses down low, two and one now to Scudder. And now the pitch on the way, and that is hits him. Sort of it's inside, but it was very inside. As it hits Scudder, he'll head down to first base. 
with one out. And now that brings up Nagel. The Nagel. Mm -hmm. Nagel's had a good day at the plate himself. Mm, two for four. Two for four. Double, single, two RBIs. Nagel, another big kid, right-handed hitter. Those first two hits he had, the two hits he had, Rick, were very well hit. First pitch down and away. The stretch now by Ortiz, the pitch. Misses inside, two balls. Pretty good breaking pitch there, just missing. Two balls, no strikes. Runner at first gets his lead. Now swinging a foul ball at the plate off the bat of Nagel. And the count goes to two and one. 11 runs, 10 hits, two errors for Kernersville. Zero, three, and two for Lincoln County. And now Ortiz pitch to the plate inside, three and one. Martin on deck. Not many, not too many easy spots in this current lineup. No. And the pitch on the way, way outside, ball four. So another walk issued by Lincoln County pitching. Scudder, who was hit by a pitch, goes down to second. Nagel's now your runner at first with one out. Bump Martin will be your hitter. Martin has walked, reached on an error, singled and flew out to right field. So one hit on the day. Now nine Lincoln County walks in this game. Wow. Nine Lincoln County walks, and I want to say now two hit batters as well. Now here's a drive in the right center field. That's going to get down in the gap. Hodges will run it down. A runner coming around third, and he will score his scutter. Over to third base the goes Nagel. In. Well, Nagel pretty much put the pressure on him to score because he was following him all the way around to third yes, base. Was. It's a RBI single off the bat of Bump Martin. He stayed at first base because he was not sure that the runners would both go. RBI drives in Scudder. It's now 12 zip on the TRT Trader Sales scoreboard. And now Harrison Hollis with Hollis. his chance. Yes, had a big double his last time up and scored. Ground ball to short. They'll go to second for one. The relay to first is in time. And a run comes in to score on the 6-4-3 double play. No RBI, but nonetheless, the run does come in there. Make it 13 to nothing. Ah, uh, it's the third out. Man. Oh, thank you. Forgot about the fly out to start the end? Yeah, sure. Okay, folks, here's a question for you. Now, listen, if you could pay less for your office products and have them delivered to your door, if that money stayed right here in your community, and if you could choose from a selection of office supplies made right here in America, and if you'd like to truly say that you buy local, wouldn't you make the switch to King's Office Supply? Located at 227 East Main Street, King's Office Supply has been serving Lincoln County and surrounding areas for over 60 years. Come on now, make the switch and feel good about supporting your local small business. Do you own a farm? If so, LMI Agency in downtown Lincoln now offers farm owner coverage through Ace Agribusiness. Ace specializes in farm and ranch insurance, including multiple peril, crop hail, specialty crop lines, farm property and casualty, commercial auto, and farm umbrella excess. Give one of their farm insurance agents a call today at 704-735-2604 for a free quote on a great farm insurance product. LMI Agency. 228 East Main Street in downtown Lincoln. And don't forget, they also offer home and automobile insurance. Again, call 704-735-2604. Vesuvius Vineyards in Iron Station is proud to help sponsor the Lincoln County Cardinals American Legion State Tournament Games. Vesuvius Vineyards provide a very private surrounding on 350 acres with sprawling vineyards behind the oldest standing house in Lincoln County built in 1792. We're a perfect location for weddings, reunions, anniversaries and birthday parties, corporate events, Christmas parties and more. 
Call for more details at 704-996-1566 or 843-422-4079. Online at VesuviusVineyards.com or email us at... Things off here for Lincoln County in the seventh inning. Holman, Seymour, Scoggins do up. We'll see if that stays out of way, but Holman is up to the plate. And here comes the pitch, and it swung on, lifted foul. It's going to get out of play. Out of reach, anyway. Out of reach, yeah. Mm -hmm. First baseman over there gave chase, Zach Scudder, but not Scudder. able to get there. Scudder got his uniform dirty a while ago, sliding into home. Big young man. I guess that's what you want out of a first baseman. Long arms can reach out there. And Here's the pitch to the plate. Swung on and missed, but it goes all the way to the backstop. The third strike, the throw to first in time. Good hustle by the catcher. Yep. The strikeout with the two to three put out. One down now in the Lincoln County seventh, and Kernersville just two outs away now from advancing to tomorrow's uh, next to last day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Seymour now biting. Brian Seymour. Hitless today. Yes. Seymour over mm -hmm. two. Yeah, we'll say hitless. I mean, but only two bats. I'm gonna get three, three bats in a game. And there's one hit out into right field, and that's gonna, gonna drop, drop in there. Yep. Good piece of hitting. Seymour just slapping it over the right side, drops it in front of the outfield for a one-out single. Fourth Lincoln County hit now of the game. And David Scoggins is going to bat, number 10, lefty. So one out now with a runner on first. First pitch down low. Seymour at first, one out. As we said, Lincoln County's got to push three across yes, to extend this. The... Uh, Fourth and final game of today scheduled for about three minutes from now, but they're not going to be too late. Here's a ground ball up the middle. Could be two. Second to short for one. The relay to first is pulling the runner off the bag, pulling the first baseman off the bag. So the fielder's choice allows Scoggins to get there. Seymour is retired down at second, six to four. Or actually four to six, I should say. Four to six on that put out so now down to their last chance and Darren Salter the left-handed hitter who does have a hit and a sacrifice in this game will come to bat and he takes a ball Kernersville and Randolph County both from area three will advance to tomorrow also Wilmington and Garner one from area one one from area two will advance to tomorrow no matter what happens tonight One ball, one strike, two outs in the inning. The runner at first base, Scoggins, and this one's foul back, and now Lincoln County down to their final strike. Dayton Finney is on deck. He's going to pinch hit if he does get the chance. One ball, two strikes. Salter takes inside, two and two. Scoggins at first base, two down. And the pitch to Salter on the way, and it hits him in the back. So Salter hit by the pitch will keep the game alive. Down to second goes Scoggins. Two runners aboard with two outs, and now a pinch hitter. Yes, yeah, Staten Finney's going to bat in the number nine spot <clears throat> for Zach Threader. I think it's Dayton Finney's first at bat. <laughs> In the tournament. Finning a right-handed hitter now to face the right-handed throwing French. And the first pitch to Finning is outside. Game times are at 
Now the pitch on its way popped out right side. If it stays in play, first baseman giving chase, but it will land out of play. Yep, it will be out of play about six feet. So the count one and one. Jake McFinney, we saw him catch earlier in the year. Mm-hmm. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way is grounded to third. That could do it. Third baseman picks it up, steps on the bag. And the fielder's choice will end this ball game as they get Scoggins on the force out at third base. Lincoln County, no runs in inning, a hit, no errors, and two men left on base. Your final score here today on the TRT Trailer Sales scoreboard, Kernersville wins it over Lincoln County 12-0. We'll be back to wrap things up after this three-minute timeout. Info at VesuviusVineyards.com. Located at 6173 Vesuvius Furnace Road in Iron Station, North Carolina, 28080. Mention this radio ad and take $1 off each bag of Neutrina feed you purchase from St. Ace Hardware in Lincoln. All for good for Neutrina River Run Dog Food. Starting at $17.99 for a 50-pound bag. Also good on Neutrina Country Feeds Layer Pellets. Starting at $13.49 for a 50-pound bag. And Neutrina Wrangler Horse Feed in Pellet or Sweet. Starting at $8.99 for a 50-pound bag. And mention this radio ad and get $1 off each bag you purchase. St. Ace Hardware, Highway 150 West, 27 Intersection in Lincoln. Trailers for everything. And we mean it at TRT Trailer Sales in Lincoln, 3302 Gastonia Highway. Trailers for hauling livestock, motorcycles, and cars. You'll find dump trailers, utility, and landscaping trailers. You'll find racing trailers with finished interiors, plus the tag-along and gooseneck trailers, insulated trailers with tack compartments and 110 packages. Call toll-free at 1-877-279-7465 or visit the website, trttrailersales.com. $500 off, $500 off any big dog X-Series mower from West End Sales in Vail. Bring in the ad from this week's What's Up Shopper and take $500 off any big dog X-Series mower. These mowers feature a big 26 horsepower Kawasaki engine and a big 52 inch cut, but that's not all. Bring in the same ad in the What's Up Shopper and take $50 off any Cub Cadet Tiller in stock or any Land Pride mower in stock. Only from West End Sales, 110 Highway 18 North at the Highway 27 intersection in Vail. The old saying you can't keep a good man down now applies to Brookwood Cafe and Catering. The new Brookwood Cafe and Catering is located on Providence Mill Road in Maiden, featuring the same great food and service you remember. The world's greatest fried chicken and world-famous penny browns once again satisfy your appetite. Brookwood Cafe and Catering is serving the same great breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Brookwood Cafe and Catering on Providence Mill Road in Maiden. Stop by before the game or call ahead for your tailgate items, 828-428-8944. It's time to jump in. Jump in and cool off with a dip in your backyard pool. To help keep your pool sparkling clean all summer long, see Carolina Hardware Garden and Pool Center on the Reedfield Road in Lincoln. They carry a full line of BioGuard products. Plus, they'll analyze your water to make sure you get the right blend of BioGuard. And keep your yard looking great with a new Huxvarna Zero Turn, Tractor, Push Mower, or Trimmer. Carolina Hardware and Garden Center on the Reedfield Road in Lincoln. The Big Splash Sales Event is underway at Our Lane Motorsports in Lincoln. It's time to come in and cool off this summer with a new Kawasaki Jet Ski Watercraft. Brand new model started only $89.99. Come on in for all the details. You'll find one that's just right for you for your summertime fun. Ask about great rebates and low, low financing now available. Plus, they have golf carts too. Don't miss the Big Splash Sales Event going on now at Our Lane Motorsports. Highway 27 east of Shelby at the Highway 73 intersection.
Your reasons for a personal loan are as individual as you are. As a community bank, we understand that. We're the bank with a focus on service. So we'll help you design a... He falls today by a score of 12 to nothing. And uh, Rick Kearns will just look, Rick looked really sharp and ready to play in this afternoon baseball game. Dominated the game from the get-go. Yes, they did. Uh, 11 hits on the day. Did commit two hour errors, but they, uh, from what we've seen, that infield is very, very good. Uh, mm -hmm. Short stop, third base, second base. Uh, but, yeah, they, and they had their hitting shoes on today. And, unfortunately, for Lincoln County, the walking bug got a hold of them again in this game, I guess you could call it. Just uh, didn't have control of the pitching today. And uh, uh, the better team won. That's just all they are to it. Uh, I would agree with that. Yeah, Kernsville is a big winner, 12 to nothing. Line score today, uh, Kernsville 12 runs, 11 hits, two errors. Lincoln County, no runs. They did have four hits and committed two errors. So uh, it's been a tough Sunday for this Lincoln County team. But, you know, you got to look back. Uh, first time in the state tournament. Uh, congratulations to the players and Coach Bullock for uh, making that appearance. Uh, Coach Bullock and, the and his coaching staff has been very cordial and uh, good to us all over the season. And, yeah. Uh, you know, they've, they've had a good year. They don't don't think that right now, but they will in a couple of days when it's all said and done. So that's going to end the uh, season for Lincoln County. Also, Shelby lost earlier today also. So both the area four teams have been eliminated from this state tournament. And uh, Garner and Wilmington, the two undefeated teams, are left they're getting ready to play here in all oh, probably 20 or 30 minutes so uh but unfortunately the season has ended for lincoln county uh before i go off i want to mention a couple things rocky bennett area four director came up and said tell the folks back at home lincoln charitable area that he is uh, telling everybody hey and uh, glad to have folks tune in listening to the area four teams shelby and lincoln county despite getting put out early in this tournament uh still had real good seasons nothing to be ashamed of it by no means out of either one of them, you know what I mean? So uh, Rocky says, hey, to everybody back in uh, Gaston, Lincoln, Cleveland County. Uh, I do want to thank a couple sponsors that came on board to help us put this uh, American Legion State Tournament uh, on, uh, the Lincoln County team, a couple sponsors for Lincoln County Cardinals, Dellinger Building Supply and Builders, Highway 16 South in Lowell. Uh, check it out. Lindy Dellinger, the owner, and the gang over at Dellinger Building Supply and Builders. Also, Tony's Cleaning Services of Denver, Highway 16 North. Tony's Cleaning Services offering lawn service and building cleaning service. Special thanks to those sponsors as well as all the others coming on and helping us broadcast the state tournament games. Your final score here today from Fleming Stadium in Wilson. Lincoln County takes it on the chin. 12-0 to a good Kernersville team. Also, Shelby Falls today. They're eliminated from the tournament as well. They lose 10 to 6 to a very good Randolph County team. We've enjoyed our stay here, but good luck to the teams that are left. Good luck to Randolph, Kernersville, Wilmington, and Garner. It should be a good tournament to wind down over the next sure couple of days, be. Rick. Yes, I, I really think it will be. This has been a presentation of KTC Broadcasting for our camera crew today, Jason Sane, Kevin Hastings. Uh, Rick Mitchum, myself, David Kiever. Special thanks to Steve Roberts back in the studio. We'll say so long now from Wilson, North Carolina. Thanks you, thank you so much for joining in to American Legion Baseball as our season concludes. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate it, Steve.
That's our table. This is our table? Yeah. You taking that away? This yeah. table will be here. This table yeah, and this, this table will be here. All right. 